Welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to see the full current affairs of the month, January. Let us begin with Date 1st January 2020 Let us start with National News Update. India has improved its composite score from 57 in 2018 to 60 in Sustainable Development Goal Index 2019 to 20. This has been achieved due to better works in water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy and industries, innovation and infrastructure. Kerala, Himachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Telangana have topped the list of states on the SDGs Index 2019-20. to Keys to remember In Sustainable Development Goal Index 2019-20, India have improved its composite score from 57 to 60. This has been achieved due to better works in water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy and industries, innovation and infrastructure. Related keys The index tracks the progress of all states and union territories on a set of 62 national indicators measuring their progress on the outcomes. Next news, the Government of India on December 30, 2019 launched Central Equipment Identity Register portal to block and trace mobile phones. The web portal will operate under Department of Telecom. The CEIR portal have been established in order to address theft, security and other concerns. The portal will also hold database of IMEI number of blacklisted handsets. Keys to remember Our Indian government have launched Central Equipment Identify Register portal to block and trace mobile phones on December 30. This portal is launched in order to address theft, security and for other concerns. Related keys CEIR has powers to block the usage of the phones. On the other hand, predecessor technologies of CEIR were able to block the SIM cards alone. Next news. On December 31, 2019, General Bibin Travat was appointed as the Chief of Defence Staff. He recently retired as Chief of Army Staff and was succeeded by General Manoj Mukund. Recently, the Union Cabinet approved the post of Chief Defence Staff in ranking of 4-star general. The salaries and perks or of CDS is equivalent to Service Chief. Keys to remember, General Bipin Travat has appointed as the Chief of Defence Staff on December 31st. Related keys, the other countries that holds Chief of Defence Staffs in the world includes Italy, France, China, Spain, UK, Canada and Japan. The Chief of Staffs Committee were created to finalise the powers of CDS. Next, let us see international news updates. Sri Lankan government has said that it will develop Batikalova Airport in East Province as an international airport with Indian assistance. Minister of Tourism and Aviation Prasanna Ranatunga said the Indian government has extended its fullest cooperation to develop the domestic airport and it has been discussed with Indian High Commissioner in Sri Lanka Taranjit Singh Sandhu recently. The Government of India would like to extend its air service to Batikalova Airport as well. Keys to remember Sri Lankan Government have reported that it will develop Batikalova Airport as international airport with the assistance of India. Related Keys Sri Lankan President Kotabaya Rajabaksha Sri Lankan Currency Sri Lankan Rupee Next, let us see sports news updates. Afghanistan spinner Mujib Ur Rahman has become the youngest bowler in the history to take 100 wickets in T20 cricket. 
Mujib achieved the feat at the age of 18 years and 271 days. By doing this, he broke the record of Afghanistan all-rounder Rashid Khan who had reached 120 wickets at the age of 18 years and 360 days. Keys to remember Afghanistan spinner Murjib or Rahman have become the youngest player to take 120 wickets. He achieved this at the age of 18 years and 271 days. Related keys Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani, Afghanistan Capital, Kabul. Next, date 2nd January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. The Ministry of Railways has accorded organized Group A status to Railway Production Force, RPF, and renamed it Indian Railways Production Force Service. Consequent upon Grant of Organized Group A status to RPF in the light of cabinet decision arising from Honorable Court's orders in its hereby informed that RPF will be known as Indian Railway Production Force Service. Keys to remember Ministry of Railways have renamed Organized Group A status to Indian Railway Production Force Services. This renaming decision was made by the cabinet arising from Honorable Court's order. Related Keys Ministry of Railways founded on 16th April 1853. Ministry of Railway Headquarters, Rail Bhavan, New Delhi. Next news. On January 1st, 2020, the Election Commission of India launched an online system that will allow political parties to track their applications. The system is called as Political Party Registration Tracking Management System. The system will track applications registered by political parties. The status of the application shall be obtained through SMS or email. Keys to remember On 1st of January, our Election Commission of India have launched an online system which helps the political parties to track their application. Related Keys Election Commission of India formed 25th January 1950. Election Commission of India Headquarters, New Delhi. Next news, the Government of Delhi on 31st December 2019 announced that renaming of Pragati Maiden Metro Station as Supreme Court Metro Station. Addressing a press conference, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia said the Delhi government's naming committee has decided to rename the Pragati Maidan Metro Station as Supreme Court Metro Station. Keys to remember On 31st December, the government of Delhi have announced the renaming of Pragati Maidan Metro Station as Supreme Court Metro Station. This renaming was reported by Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. Related Keys Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Gejriwal Delhi Literacy Rate 86.21% Next, let us see Banking News. Reserve Bank of India RBI has launched mobile application Money Mobile Aided Note Identifier to help visually challenged people to identify denomination of currency notes. The app, which is available both on Android and iOS operating system, was launched by RBI Governor Shakti Kandadas in Mumbai. Keys to remember Reserve Bank of India have launched a new mobile application named Money Mobile Aided Note Identifier by RBI Governor Shakti Kanda Das at Mumbai. This app would help visually challenged people to identify the currency notes. Related Keys Reserve Bank of India established 1st April 1935. Reserve Bank of India Governor Shakti Kanda Das. 
Next, let us see sports news updates. 6,500 athletes from 37 teams will take part in the 3rd Kilo India Youth Games in Kuhati, beginning from 10th of January. Taking to air, Chief Executive Officer of the event, Avinash Joshi, said that lawn bowls and cycling will be included in Kilo India for the first time. The CEO added that cultural events from Assam, Northeast and rest of the countries will be held from 13th to 15th January. Keys to remember On 10th January, 3rd Kilo India Youth Games will be held in Guwahati. Around 6,500 athletes from 37 teams are taking part in this event. The newly added games like lawn bowl and cycling will be included from this year Kilo India for the first time. Next, date 3rd January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. India for the first time ranks among the top 10 in Climate Change Performance Index CCPI, which goes further to prove that all efforts and activities being currently undertaken by the government are setting a tone of vast improvement. Government aims to increase the share of non-fossil fuel to 175 gigawatt by 2020 and further take it to 450 gigawatt. Keys to remember India for the first time listed in the top 10 Climatic Change Performance Index, which proves that the Government of India is taking further activities and efforts for the vast improvement. Related case Climatic Change Performance Index is an instrument designed by the German Environmental and Development Organization German Watchmen to enhance the transparency in international climate politics. Next news, University of Agricultural Science in Bengaluru is all set to host the 107th Indian Science Congress from 3rd till 7th of this month. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate the conference to be attended by over 15,000 delegates. The General President of Indian Science Congress Association, Prof. K. S. Rangappa has informed that 1,500 scientific papers and 5,700 posters will be laid in 14 scientific disciplines. Case to remember, the University of Agricultural Science in Bengaluru will host the 107th Indian Science Congress from 3rd of January to 7th of this month. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate this event. Related Keys University of Agricultural Science in Bengaluru established on 1964. University of Agricultural Science in Bengaluru Vice Chancellor Dr. S. Rajendra Prasad. Next, let us see international news updates. Palau's pioneering ban on rift toxic sunscreens takes effect. The tiny Pacific island nation introduced a strict environmental measures. Palau is renowned for its marine life and is regarded as one of the world's best diving destinations. But the government is concerned this poses an environmental cost. Keys to remember. Palau's a ban on drift toxic sunscreen comes in effect for state environmental measures. Related case Palau capital Jarulmet Melikiok Palau currency United States dollar Next, let us see science and tech updates. The Indian Space Research Organization said the training of astronauts for India's ambitious Gaganyaan manned space mission will start from the third week of January in Russia. Four astronauts have been identified for the mission. K. Shivan also reported the work related to Chandrayaan 3 and Gaganyaan was going on simultaneously. Keys to remember. 
ISRO reported that the training of astronauts for India's ambitious Gaganyaan project will start from third week of January in Russia. The process of Gaganyaan and Chandrayaan 3 will be ongoing at the same time. Related Keys ISRO founded 15th August 1969. ISRO Headquarters Bengaluru Next, let us see appointments. Vinod Kumar Yadav has assumed the charge of Chairman Railway Board after being reappointed. The Appointments Committee of Cabinet has approved the reappointment of Vinod Kumar Yadav as Chairman Railway Board for a period of one year. Keys to remember, the Appointments Committee of Cabinet has approved the reappointment of Vinod Kumar Yadav. Related Keys Railway Board founded 16th April 1853 Railway Board Headquarters New Delhi Next Date 4th January 2020 Let us start with National News Updates World Health Organization designated 2020 as the Year of the Nurse and the Midwife to honor 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, an English social reformer born in 1820. It aims to improve health globally by raising the status and profile of nursing and enabling nurses to maximize their contribution to achieve universal health coverage. Keys to remember To honor the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, WHO have designated 2020 as the year of the nurse and the midwife. Related Keys World Health Organization founded 7th April 1948 World Health Organization Headquarters Geneva, Switzerland Next News Maharashtra Government has launched Cyber Safe Women initiative under which awareness campus will be held across all the districts of the state regarding cyber safety. Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre has said the initiative will help in educating women about how the web is used by antisocial elements and child predators to commit various types of crimes. Keys to remember, Maharashtra government have started an initiative named Cyber Safe Women to create an awareness and educate women about social medias and cyber crimes. Related News Maharashtra Governor Bahat Singh Gaushari Maharashtra Formation 1st May 1960 Next, let us see international news. 18 years old Malavat Purna, who has become the youngest girl in the world, to achieve the feat of conquering Mount Vinson Massif, the Antarctica continent's highest mountain peak. At the age of 13 years, she became world's youngest girl who scaled Mount Everest. Keys to remember Malavat Purna has become the youngest girl in the world to scale the Mount Vinson Massif, which is the highest mount peak of Antarctica continent. She also achieved the youngest girl in the world to scale the Mount Everest at the age of 13. Related Keys Winston Massif was discovered in January 1958 by US Navy aircraft. Mount Winston is the highest peak in Antarctica. Next, let us see banking news updates. RBI announced that foreign exchange reserves of India has swelled by 2.52 billion USD in the week that ended on December 27, 2019. The central bank also said that the country's special drawing rights with IMF International Monetary Fund dipped by 2 million USD and the reserve position increased by 58 million USD. Currently, India SDR with the IMF is 1.441 billion USD and reserve is 3.7 billion USD. 
Keys to remember At the last week of December, the foreign exchange reserves of India have swelled by 2.52 billion USD. This report was announced by Reserve Bank of India. Related Keys RBI Founder British Raj RBI founded 1st April 1935. Next, let us see important dates. World Braille Day is annually celebrated on December 4th, the birthday of Braille inventor Louis Braille. The day recognizes the contribution of Louis Braille in helping blind and visually impaired people to read and write. In November 2018, the General Assembly decided to proclaim 4th January as World Braille Day. Keys to remember The World Braille Day is observed on January 4th every year. Next, day 5th January 2020. Let us begin with National News Update. External Affairs Ministry declared the setting up of new emerging and strategic technologies division. The division will work to increase investment coordination among the states of the country and also with the foreign countries. Keys to remember External Affairs Ministry declared the setting up of new emerging and strategic technologies division. Related Keys NEST act as the nodal division within the Ministry for issue about new and emerging technologies. It will help in collaboration with foreign partners in the field of 5G and artificial intelligence. Next news. Maharashtra government launched a Cypher Safe Women initiative under which awareness camps across all the districts of the state recording Cypher Safety. The action will help in educating women about how the web is used by antisocial elements and child predators to commit various types of crimes. Keys to remember Maharashtra government launched a Cypher Safe Women initiative under which awareness camps across all the districts of the state recording Cypher Safety. Related Keys Maharashtra Chief Minister Udav Thakre Maharashtra Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Next, let us see banging news updates. Unified Payments Interface raised 1.3 billion transactions in December at National Payments Corporation of India. These transactions were 7% higher than in October and 111% higher on a year-on-year -year basis, the data showed. The transactions were worth 2.02 trillion rupees in December compared to 1.89 trillion rupees a month ago. Currently, 143 banks are live on UPI. Keys to remember Unified Payments Interface raised 1.3 billion transactions in December at National Payments Corporation of India. Related Keys UPI allows users to transfer money anytime across multiple bank accounts without revealing details of one's bank account to the other party. Next, let us see science and tech updates. The Indian Space Research Organization set up a regional academic center for space at the National Institute of Technology at Suratkal in Karnataka Southwest, Takshina, Canada district. The center at NITK will conduct joint research and development in space technology applications to meet the needs of our space programs. Keys to remember The Indian Space Research Organization set up a regional academic center for space at the National Institute of Technology. Related Keys NITK former name Karnataka Regional Engineering College NITK established 1960. Next, let us see sports news updates. India's young table tennis player Manav Thakur has become the world's number one player in the under 21 category. In the latest rankings of 
International Table Tennis, Manav has jumped 9 places to occupy the top position in the men's single category. Manav has become the first Indian player to achieve the number 1 chart in this category. He is to remember. India's young table tennis player Manav has become the world's number 1 player in the under 21 category. Related keys. Manav also reached number 1 in the under 18 category 2 years ago. Manav was also a part of the bronze medal winning table tennis team at the Asian Games in 2018. Next, date 6th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. India has moved 6 places up to reach 34th rank in the World Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index. This index considers many elements of tourism including cultural resources, rich natural resource, price competitiveness and others. India has moved up from 40th rank to 34th ranks and is now a part of the top 25% of the countries in the list. Case to remember In the World Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, India have moved forward to 34th rank from 40th rank last year. Related keys The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report was first established in 2007 by the World Economic Forum. The 2007 report covered 124 major and emerging economies. Next news. The Indian Army will sign Memorandum of Understanding with Russia to procure AK-203 assault rifles. According to the deal, around 1 lakh rifles ought to be received directly from Russia and rest will be manufactured in India. The rifles will be manufactured at Korwa in Uttar Pradesh by a joint venture called Indo-Russia Rifles Private Limited. Of the JV, 50.5% is to be owned by India and 49.5% by Russia. Keys to remember, our Indian Army and Russia have signed Momentum of Understanding to Procure AK-203 Assault Rifles These rifles will be manufactured at Korwa in Uttar Pradesh in Indo-Russia Rifles Private Limited in which 50.5% will be owned by India and 49.5% will be owned by Russia. Related Keys Indian Army founded on 1st April 1895, Indian Army Headquarters, New Delhi. Next news. The Maritime Ecosystem Challenges and Opportunities, the third international symposium is to be held in Kochi. The symposium is conducted by the Marine Biological Association of India between January 7, 2020 and January 10, 2020. The symposium is to focus on the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations SDG 14. SDG 14 says conserve and sustainably use the oceans and its resource for sustainable development. Keys to remember Marine Biological Association will be conducting the third edition of International Young ECOS Symposium at Kochi. This symposium to be held between January 7th to January 10th. Related Keys Previous MECOS2 brought together marine scientists, researchers and teachers from all over the world. Next, let us see international news updates. Neural Pranam Day has been voted Word of the Decade by US language experts, beating out other contenders. Day is used in English by growing number of non-binary individuals, people who do not identify as either male or female. They prefer the plural neural pronoun by bypassing using the pronoun he or she.
Keys to Lumamba The U.S. language experts have voted they as the word of the decade. They is a neural common pronunciation used to do not identify a person as male or female. Next, let us see our words. The government of India has announced first Atarshtriya Yoga Divas Media Summit for several media houses. This award will be conferred on January 7, 2022, 30 media houses. The objective behind this award is to bring positivity and acknowledge the role of media in outreach of yoga in the world. Case to remember Our Indian government have announced Atashriya Yoga Divas Media Summit to acknowledge the role of media to outreach of yoga in the world. This award will be conferred on January 7, 2020. Related case The International Day of Yoga has been celebrated annually on 21st June since 2015. The idea of International Day of Yoga was first proposed by the current Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. Next, date 7th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. Madhya Pradesh government has decided to start MP Mukhya Mandri Karam Chari Swasthya Bhima Yojana 2020. Around 12,55,000 staff, personals and functionaries would be benefited from MP Chief Minister Employees Health Insurance Scheme. This decision is taken in the State Cabinet meeting held on 4th January 2020, held by CM Kamal Nath. Keys to remember Government of Uttar Pradesh is all set to start MP Mukhya Mandri Karan Chari Swasthya Bhima Yojana 2020. This decision was taken in the State Cabinet meeting. Related Keys Madhya Pradesh Capital Bhopal Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Kamal Nath Next News Ujala and Street Lightning National Program of the Central Government completed five successful years of illuminating the country. Over 36.13 crore LED bulbs have been distributed across the country through the Ujala Initiative. This has resulted in estimated energy saving of 46.92 million kilowatt hour per year. Keys to remember, the central government schemes Ujala and SLNP have successfully completed its five years. With the implementation of this scheme, India have estimated energy savings of 46.92 billion kilowatt hour every year. Related Keys Ujala launched on 1st May 2015. Ujala developed to address India's high cost and electrification and high emission of inefficient lighting. Next news. On January 6, 2020, the 5th Asia-Pacific Drosophila Research Conference was held at Pune. It was organized by the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. The conference is held twice a year. The conference is to be held between January 6, 2020 and January 10, 2020. It aims at promoting interaction between the Drosophila researchers in the region of Asia-Pacific. Case to remember the 5th edition of Asia-Pacific Drosophila Research Conference was held at Pune on January 6th, which will continue till January 10th. This conference is held to promote the interaction between the Drosophila researchers in the region of Asia-Pacific. Related case, the 4th Asia-Pacific Drosophila Research Conference took place on May 8 to 11, 2017, at Osaka University Suta Campus Convention Center in Osaka, Japan. Next news 
On January 6, 2020, two Oman ships arrived in Goa to participate in Nazim al Bahar, the Indo Oman bilateral naval exercise. RNOV al Rasik and RNOV Kazab arrived at Goa. Along with these ships, Indian naval ships Subatra and Base will also participate in the exercise. Keys to remember To participate in the Indo Oman bilateral naval exercise, two Oman ships have arrived in Goa. Related keys The Indo Oman naval exercise are being conducted since 1993. The countries conduct regular biennial exercise between all three services, namely Army, Navy and Air Force. Oman Currency Omani Real Next, let us see signs and tech updates. On 6th January 2020, the ISRO proposed 2,700 crores of infrastructure plans to construct Human Space Flight Infrastructure Center. The facility is to be set up at Chalakri, Chitradurga district of Karnataka and is expected to become operational in three years. ISRO aims to establish a self-contained training facility here. Keys to remember. ISRO plans to set up Human Space Flight Infrastructure Center with 2,700 crore at Chalakre, Chitra Durga district of Karnataka. Related keys If ISRO succeeds in the Gaganyan mission, India will become the fourth country after US, Russia and China to send humans to space. Chalakri is called the Science City as it accommodated facilities of ISRO. Next, date 8th January 2020. Let us start with national news updates. The government think tank Nidhi Ayok draws up list of medical devices that have high export potential. It has come up with 10 devices to provide priority subsidies. It includes surgical blades, orthopedic implants, catheters, syringes and needles, X-ray machines, blood bags, MRI machines and CT scan. Keys to remember, Nidhi Ayok have listed the high export potential medical devices. The list consists of 10 devices with priority subsidies. Related keys in December 2018, Niti Ayok announced that all medical devices will be brought under one regulatory regime. Currently, the medical devices are governed under the Central Drug Standard Control Organization. Next news, the second phase of intensified mission Indratanush 2.0 rolled out at block level in 35 districts of Uttar Pradesh. The aim of the program launched by central government in 2017 is to achieve 90% vaccination coverage in children of less than 2 years in state. Air correspondent reports that under the program, the immunization activity will be in 4 rounds over 7 working days excluding the regular immunization days, Sundays and holidays. Case to remember, the second phase of intensified mission Indra Dhanush 2.0 will be rolled in 35 districts of Uttar Pradesh. The scheme aims to achieve 90% vaccination coverage in children of less than 2 years. Related keys, mission Indra Dhanush launch year 2014. The scheme seeks to drive towards 90% full immunization coverage of India and sustain the same by the year 2020. Next news Uttar Pradesh is all set to become the first state in the country to start the exercise of shortlisting migrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan 
eligible for citizenship under the new citizenship amendment act the exercise will also identify who are living illegally in the state case to remember uttar pradesh government has become the first state in the country to exercise citizenship amendment act related case uttar pradesh capital lagno uttar pradesh chief minister yogi adityanath next let us see international news updates the uae cabinet has approved the issuance of a 5 year multi entry tourist visa for all nationalities visiting the country the decision was made during the cabinet's first meeting of 2020 The move comes in a bit to support the UAE's tourism economy and affirm the country's position as a global tourist destination. Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid said the country receives 21 million tourists annually and their aim is to establish the country as the major global tourist destination. Keys to remember UAE cabinet has approved to issue the 5 year multi entry tourist visa for all the tourists. The country concentrates on tourism economy and affirm the country's position as a global tourist destination. Related case UAE capital Abu Dhabi UAE currency United Arab Emirates dirham. Next let us see sports news updates. The first edition of Kilo India University Games is scheduled to be held at KIIT University in Bhubaneswar from February 22nd to March 1st. The launching ceremony of the event was held at Bhubaneswar yesterday. Union Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju and Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik unveiled the logo and Jersey of Kilo India University Games Keys to remember On February 22nd to March 1st the first edition of Kilo India University Games is scheduled to be held This games will take place at KIIT University in Bhubaneswar Next date 9th January 2020 Let us begin with national news updates On January 8, 2020, the Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute announced that it has developed a viable scientific method to cultivate Indian pambanu fish in ponds. Pambanus or marine fishes cultivating Indian pambanu in ponds will be good alternative to shrimp. The financial assistance for the scientific invention was provided by the National Fisheries Development Board. Case to remember. CMFRI have announced that it has come up with a viable scientific method to cultivate Indian pambanu fish in ponds. This fish will be a good alternative to shrimps. National Fisheries Development Board have made the financial assistance for this project related case central marine fisheries research institute founded 1945 central marine fisheries research institute director dr y e. gopalakrishnan next news president ramnath govind laid foundation stone to the lakshadweep's first ever super specialty hospital at kavarati President who is on the two day visit to the union territory assured special focus on the development of Lakshadweep and directed Lakshadweep administrators to give special attention to the completion of super specialty hospital Keys to remember Our Indian president have laid the foundation stone to the Lakshadweep's first super specialty hospital Related keys Lakshadweep capital Kavarati Lakshadweep formation 1st November 1956 Next news Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rupani announced 
that the state is to set up the Vikram Sarabhai Children Innovation Center in the state. The announcement was made at the Children's Innovation Festival held at Gandhinagar. In the festival, he felicitated top 30 idea teams out of 114 teams led by school students in the state. Also, a letter of intent was exchanged between Gujarat University and UNICEF on the occasion. Keys to remember In the Children's Innovation Festival, the Chief Minister of Gujarat have announced that the state is to set up the Vikram Sarabhai Children Innovation Center in Gujarat. Related Keys Gujarat Capital, Gandhinagar Gujarat Governor, Acharya Devrat Next, let us see Science and Tech Updates. The LINGO Laser Infrometer Gravitational Wave Observatory detected gravitational waves due to collusion of two neutron stars. This is the second time the gravitational waves are being detected. The mass of the neutron stars detected is expected to be 3.3 times and 3.7 times as that of Sun. The scientists believe that the neutron stars were at the distance of 520 million light years from the Earth. Keys to remember The gravitational waves caused due to the collusion of neutron stars have detected by LINGO. Scientists believe that these stars are 520 million light years away from Earth. Next, let us see economy news updates. On January 8, 2020, the Competition Commission of India released its report on Market Study of E-Commerce in India, Key Findings and Observation. The market study for the report was initiated in April 2019 by CCI. According to the report, the number of internet users have increased from 445.96 million in 2017 to 665.31 million in 2019. Keys to remember, CCI have released the report on Market Study on E-Commerce in India, Key Findings and Observation on January 8, 2020. Related Keys Competition Commission of India founded 14th October 2003. Competition Commission of India Headquarters, New Delhi. Next news. The Indian economy is estimated to grow at 5% in 2019 to 20 as against 6.8% in the previous fiscal. According to the first advance estimates of national income released by National Statistical Office, the decline has been mainly on account of declaration in manufacturing sector growth, which is expected to come down to 2% in 2019 to 20 from 6.2% in the year ago fiscal. The declaration was also witnessed in the sectors like agriculture, construction and electricity, gas and water supply. Please to remember, the Indian economy is estimated to grow at 5% in 2019 to 2020. This report was released by National Statistical Office. Related Keys National Statistical Office founded 1965 National Statistical Office Headquarters, Zomba, Malawi. Next, date 10th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. The Indian Railways has enhanced security in major railway hubs by installing IP-based video surveillance system. The surveillance has been installed in parking areas, entrance and exit platforms, waiting hall and over bridges. The surveillance system is to be installed in 983 stations at a budget of 250 crores. The budget is being allocated from nearby funds. Keys to remember, the Indian Railways has enhanced security in major railway hubs 
by installing IP based video surveillance system. Related keys Founded April 16, 1853. Headquarters New Delhi. Ministry of Railway Piyush Koyal. Chairman of Railway Board Vinod Kumar Yadav. Next news. Maharashtra Chief Minister Udav Thakre inaugurated the Advantage Maharashtra Expo 2020 in Aurangabad. The four-day Maha Industrial Exhibition has been organized by the Marathwada Association of Small-Scale Industries and Agriculture. Growth of Marathwada Industries in Technology and Innovation and the products produced and exported from the region will be showcased in this exhibition. Keys to remember Maharashtra Chief Minister Udav Thakre inaugurated the Advantage Maharashtra Expo 2020 in Aurangabad. Related Keys Governor Bhagat Singh Koshari Chief Minister Udav Thakre Next, let us see international news updates. India continued to be the top housing market for Sri Lankan tourism with Indian tourists continuing maximum 19% of total tourist arrivals to the island nation in 2019. The latest data released by Sri Lankan tourism revealed that 355,002 Indian tourists visited Sri Lanka last year against total arrival of around 1.91 million. Sri Lankan tourism suffered a setback following Easter Sunday attacks last April and the annual tourist arrival dropped by 18% since 2018 figures. Keys to remember, India continued to be the top housing market for Sri Lankan tourism with Indian tourists continuing maximum 19% of total tourist arrivals to the island nation in 2019. Related Keys President Kotabaya Rajabaksha Prime Minister Mahinda Rajabaksha Next, let us see science and tech updates. On January 9th, 2020, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy released its year and review. According to the report, over 150 gigawatt of renewable energy has been installed so far in India. Under Kuzum Initiative, around 17 lakh solar powered agricultural pumps were installed. Keys to remember. On January 9, 2020, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy released its Year and Review. Related Keys The scheme to set up solar PV power plants in compliance with the WDO was approved. This was launched to encourage making India solar PV manufacturing. Next, let us see important days. Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is celebrated every year to mark the contribution of overseas Indian community in the development of India. It also commemorates the return of Mahatma Gandhi from South Africa to India on 9th January 1915. Established in 2003, the celebratory event is organized by the Ministry of External Affairs every year on this day. Keys to remember, Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is celebrated every year to mark the contribution of overseas Indian community in the development of India. Related Keys The Pravasi Bharatiya Saman is being presented to honor exceptional NRIs for their contribution towards the country. Next Date 11th January 2020 Let us begin with national news updates. Odisha's High Level Clearance Authority approved a new Greenfield Alumina Refinery Unit. The project was proposed by Aditya Brilla Group owned Hindelco Industries. This will be Hindelco's second alumina refining complex in Odisha after the Utkal Alumina Refining Project, also in the Raikada district. The estimated cost of the new facility is 8000 crore rupees. Keys to remember Odisha's High Level Clearance Authority 
approved a new Greenfield Alumina Refinery Unit. Related Keys Founded at 1958 Headquarters Mumbai, Maharashtra, India Chairman Kumar Mangalam Pilla Products Aluminum and Copper Products Next News Bins India 2020 has been scheduled to be held at Begumpet Airport in Hyderabad from 12th to 15th March 2020. The event is expected to boost aviation. The event is organized by Ministry of Civil Aviation and Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry to provide a continental forum to the rapidly changing dynamics of the sector. Keys to remember, Wings India 2020 has been scheduled to be held at Pekumpet Airport in Hyderabad from 12th to 15th March 2020. Related Keys Wings India 2020 is an international exhibition and conference on the civil aviation sector. The event focuses on new business acquisition, investments, policy formation, and regional connectivity. Next news. Gujarat Agro Industries Corporation launched imported water-soluble fertilizers in Ahmedabad. The move aims to encourage the use of high-grade agri inputs in the state. In this move, the role of GAIC will be to input, pack, and sell the imported water-soluble fertilizers to the farmers through its network of dealers across the state. Keys to remember, Gujarat Agro Industries Corporation launched imported water-soluble fertilizers in Ahmedabad. Related Keys GAIC promotes agro-based industries in Gujarat. It imported 300 tons of water-soluble fertilizers from China. Next, let us see banking and finance news updates. The World Bank estimated a 5 percentage growth rate in fiscal 2019-2020 for India. The World Bank's update is in line with the Reserve Bank of India's October policy estimate in which it slashed the Indian economy's expected growth to 5 percentage for the fiscal year 2019-2020. It also estimated the world economic growth at 2.5% in FY20. Keys to remember The World Bank estimated a 5% growth rate in fiscal 2019-2020 for India. Related Keys The report estimated that weakness in credit from non-banking financial companies will linger during the fiscal but the rate might recover to 5.8% in the next fiscal. Next, let us see science and tech updates. The scientists from the University of California discovered the smallest clumps of dot matter ever identified called cold dot matter using a new technique using the Hubble Space Telescope and a feature of general relativity. The small dot matter clumps act as small cracks on the magnifying glass. Keys to remember, the scientists from the University of California discovered the smallest clumps of dot matter ever identified called cold dot matter. Related Keys Dot matter is formed of particles that do not reflect, absorb or emit light so they cannot be detected by observing electromagnetic radiation. Such matters cannot be seen directly. Next, let us see awards. Famous agricultural scientists Prof. M.S. Swaminathan and Dr. Kutta Muniratnam were chosen as the first recipients of Mubavarapu Vengaya Naidu National Award for Excellence and Mubavarapu National Award for Social Service Year respectively. The award carried cash prize of 5 lakh rupees and citation. Keys to remember Famous agricultural scientists Prof. M.S. Swaminathan and Dr. Kutta Muniratnam were chosen as the first recipient of Mubavarapu Vengaya Naidu National Award for Excellence and Mubavarapu National Award for Social Service respectively. Related Keys 
the national award for excellence was instituted by the mubavarapu foundation the award for social service was launched by the swarna bharat trust in hyderabad next day 12th january 2020 let us begin with national news updates the supreme court has declared access to internet a fundamental right your government cannot deprive the citizens of fundamental rights except under certain conditions explicitly mentioned in the constitution the ruling came on hearing of a plea in connection with internet blockade in jammu and kashmir since august 5th in the way of revoking of article 370 in the union territory please to remember the supreme court has declared access to internet a fundamental right related keys supreme court established 1st october 1937 supreme court location tilak mark new delhi delhi next news on january 11th 2020 home minister amit shah launched the country's first cyber crime prevention unit called the ashwast in gandhinagar along with ashwast the video integration and state wide advanced security project called viswas was also launched the ashwast is a unit that will act to prevent cyber crimes with the help of viswas and netrank keys to remember on january 11th 2020 home minister amit shah launched the country's first cyber crime prevention unit called the ashwast in gandhinagar next news india recently attended the harmonious peace initiative that was held in degran the initiative aimed at stabilizing one of world's fastest shipping lanes the strait of harmonious amidst us iran tensions it was attended by leading trade partners of iran namely china oman india and afghanistan the countries that attended the initiative revived the harmonious peace endeavor that was proposed by degran keys to remember india recently attended the harmonious peace initiative that was held in degran related keys degran is the capital of iran and degran province degran it is ranked 24th in the world by the population of its metropolitan area next news india pulses and grains association The nodal body for the country's pulses trade and industry on announced that the 5th edition the pulses conclave will be held from February 12th to 14th in Lonavala Maharashtra IPGA expects close to 1500 trade stockholders from India and key pulses exporting countries like USA Australia Canada Myanmar Ethiopia Uganda Tanzania, Mozambique, Malawi. Keys to remember: India Pulses and Grains Association, the nodal body for the country's pulses trade and industry, on announced that the fifth edition. Related keys: Maharashtra Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari, Maharashtra Capital Mumbai. Next, let us see international news updates. The Israeli Defense Ministry has hailed a breakthrough in the development of cheaper laser-based air defenses. As tensions soar in the region after Iran hit US targets in retaliation for a high-profile assassination, the lasers still under development would be capable of intercepting everything fired at Israel, including long and medium-range missiles. rockets motor rounds and drones an official told AFP on Thursday asking not to be identified keys to remember the israeli defense ministry has held a breakthrough in the development of cheaper laser based air defenses related keys the israeli defense ministry formed 1948 the israeli defense ministry headquarters Markal Tower, Tel Aviv. Next date, 13th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. A prototype of the novel version of the light compact aircraft 
successfully completed the test trial. It landed and took off from India's aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya on 11th January 2020. The test was a significant step towards India developing its own tech-based fighters. This will now pave the way to develop and manufacture the twin-engine tech-based fighter for the Indian Navy. Keys to remember, a prototype of the novel version of the light compact aircraft successfully completed the test trial. Related Keys Indian Navy founded 5th September 1612 Motto of the Indian Navy is Shano Varna Next News Center appointed two joint secretaries, 13 deputy secretaries and 25 under secretary rang officials to the newly created Department of Military Affairs. The department is to be headed by Chief of Defense Staff, General Bibin Rawat. The appointments are in line with the government's vision of ensuring tri-services synergy. Keys to remember Center appointed two joint secretaries, 13 deputy secretaries and 25 under secretary rang officials to the newly created Department of Military Affairs. Related Keys Chief of Defense Staff is the Professional Service Chief, Head of the Indian Armed Forces and the Senior Most Uniformed Military Advisor to the Government of India. Next, let us see international news updates. On January 13, 2020, the World Future Energy Summit is to begin at Abu Dhabi. It is to be held for four days. The summit will have 33,500 participants from 170 countries. It will also include 800 special exhibits. Theme Rethinking Global Consumption, Production and Investment. Keys to remember On January 13, 2020, the World Future Energy Summit is to begin at Abu Dhabi. It is to be held for four days. Related Keys World Future Energy Summit is an annual event being conducted at Abu Dhabi since 2011. The Climate Innovation Exchange was launched in World Future Energy Summit 2018. Next, let us see sports news updates. The PCCI Annual Awards Function wrapping the prestigious Pali Umrikar Award apart from annexing the Dilip Sardesai Honor for his exploits in international cricket in the 2018-2019 season. Pali Umrikar Award is presented to the best male international cricketer and it carries a citation trophy and check for 15 lakh rupees. Dilip Sardesai Award is conferred on both the highest wicket taker and highest run getter in test cricket. Bamra took 34 wickets in 6 matches with 3-5 wicket hauls. Keys to remember The PCCI Annual Awards Function wrapping the prestigious Pali Umrikar Award apart from annexing the Dilip Sardesai Honor for his exploits in international cricket in the 2018-2019 season. Related Keys Formed in December 1928 CEO Rahul Jogri Headquarters Vankade Stadium Next, let us see important days. National Youth Day or Yuva Divas is observed on 12th January across India. The day is celebrated every year to commemorate the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. It aims to create awareness and to provide knowledge to the youth about the rights in India. The main aim of the celebration of the Youth Day is to propagate the philosophy and the ideas of Swami Vivekananda for which he lived and worked. Keys to remember National Youth Day or Yuva Divas is observed on 12th January across India. Next, Day 14th January 2020. Let us start with 
நேஷனல் நியூஸ் அப்டேட்ஸ் த இந்தியன் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் ப்ராசஸிங் டெக்னாலஜி தட் இஸ் ஐஐஎஃப்பிடி பதிண்டா சைட் மெமரண்டம் ஆஃப் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் வித் எயிட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ரெபியூட்டட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ரீஜியன் இன் த ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பஞ்சாப் அண்ட் ஹரியானா த எம்ஓயு வாஸ் எய்ம் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் தி இன்கம் ஆஃப் ஸ்மால் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் இட் ஆல்சோ எய்ம்ஸ் டு ஓப்பன் new opportunities for the benefit of farmers keys to remember the indian institute of food processing technology badinda site memorandum of understanding with eight different reputed institutes of the region in the states of punjab and haryana related keys iifpt was organized in 1967 iifpt was located in Tanjavur Next news The Special National Venta Development Program on Petroleum and Steel Sectors for SC and SG Entrepreneurs was held on 13 January 2020 It was organized by the Dalit Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry The measures taken by GOI for the SC and ST community including national infrastructure pipeline and udwala connection were discussed key still remember the special national venta development program on petroleum and steel sectors for sc and st entrepreneurs was held on 13 january 2020 news assam's dibrugarh district won the plastic waste management award 2020 It was awarded for being the best district of India in the plastic waste management category during Swachha Hai Seva 2019. The award was received by Pallav Gopal Jam, Deputy Commissioner from Rehone Bollywood actor Amit Khan at the function held at Pride Plaza, Arrow City in Delhi. Keys to remember, Assam's Dirbhugar district won the Plastic Waste Management Award 2020 The award was received by Pallav Gopal Jha Deputy Commissioner Related Keys Swachha Hai Seva 2019 is a national wide awareness and mobilization campaign on Swachha It was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Madura on 9th September 2019 Next news Tata Power Solar System Limited backed the Maha project from NTPC for a 250 megawatt solar project under the Central Public Sector Undertaking Scheme The cost of the project is Rs 1505 crore It has been estimated to be completed in a period of 20 months Please to remember Tata Power Solar System Limited back the maha project from ntpc for a 250 megawatt solar project under the central public sector undertaking scheme related case the cpsu scheme aims to set up 12000 megawatt of solar capacity by government companies by the financial year 2022 to 2023 The cabinet already sanctioned a viability gap funding support of this 8580 crore towards the scheme cap at this 70 lakh per megawatt. Next let's see awards updates. Ishwar Sharma from the UK has been honored with the Global Child Prodigy Award 2020. The award recognized for the achievements in Spiritual Discipline Yoga He received his certificate of achievement at a special event attended by Global Laureate Kailash Satyarthi and Dr. Kiran Bedi, Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry in New Delhi in January 2020. Please do remember, Ishu Sharma from the UK has been honored with the Global Child Yoga. Prodigy Award 2020 Related Keys The award is a global talent recognition for child prodigies. 
the award recognizes the kids below 15 years who are extraordinary in their own way next date 15th january 2020 let us begin with national news updates india's flagship global conference on geopolitics and geoeconomics raising a dialogue begin with prime minister narendra modi attending the inaugural session in new delhi seven four more heads of state or government will share their views on important challenges facing the world the fifth edition of prestigious raising a dialogue jointly organized by the ministry of external affairs and the observer research foundation will bring together 700 international participants from over 100 countries keys to remember our indian prime minister narendra modi will be attending the inaugural session of india's flagship global conference on geopolitics and geoeconomics raising a dialogue begins at new delhi related keys The Raisana Dialogue is the multilateral conference held annually in New Delhi. The name Raisana Dialogue comes from Raisana Hill and elevation in New Delhi. Next news, the government has announced a scheme for voluntary registration of all drones and their operators. The registration can be done by the 31st of this month. The Civil Aviation Ministry said in a notice that those who fail to register will face action. A Federation Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industries co-chair committee on drones last year had established that the number of illegal drones in India are likely to be between 50 to 60,000. Key story remember Our Indian government have announced voluntary registration for all drones and their operators. The FICCI co-chair committee on drones last year have established the number of illegal drones in India is from 50 to 60,000. Next, let us see international news updates. Sri Lanka is expected to grow by 3.3% in 2020 compared to the projected 2.7% in 2019 while maintaining a tight budget the world bank said in 2020 growth in sri lanka is projected to raise to 3.3% said the global economic prospect report afterwards acceleration will be supported by recovering investment and exports as long as the security challenges and political uncertainty of 2019 dissipate keys to remember sri lankan government is expected to grow 3.3% in the year 2020 compared to 2.7% in 2019 said by world bank related keys Sri Lanka capitals Colombo Sri Jayawardene Pura Kote Sri Lanka currency Sri Lankan rupee Next news the Japan Coast Guard ship Ichigo has arrived in Chennai on the 5th day goodwill visit It will be participating in the annual joint exercise Sayo Kaijin with Indian Coast Guard of Chennai This is the 19th such exercise being conducted between the two coast guards since 2000. Keys to remember, Ichigo, the Japan Coast Guard ship has arrived in Chennai to participate in the annual joint exercise Sayo Kaijin with Indian Coast Guard of Chennai. Keys to remember, Japan capital Tokyo Japan currency Japanese yen next let us see important days the army day is celebrated on 15th january every year in india in recognition of field marshal kodindra yam 
Karyapas taking over as the first commander in chief of the Indian army. Keys to remember 15th January is observed as Army Day every year in India. Next, date 16th January 2020. Let us start with national news updates. Union Home Minister Amit Shah chaired the 6th meeting of the Island Development Agency, IDA. In the meeting chaired by Shah, the progress made under the Holistic Development of Islands program was reviewed. For the first time in the country, an initiative of sustainable development in the Identify Islands with a scientifically assessed carrying capacity has been taken up. Keys to remember, our Home Minister have chaired the 6th meeting of Island Development Agency. By this meeting, our India have took the first initiative of sustainable development in identified islands with a scientifically assessed carrying capacity. Related case, Island Development Agency was constituted in 2017 for the holistic development of islands. IDE had identified 10 islands for the development which include 5 islands in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Next, let us see international news. The U.S. Treasury Department has dropped the designation of China as a currency manipulator. It is a denture that aims to ease tensions with Beijing ahead of this week's signing of a deal to halt their trade war. In August 2019, China was labelled officially as currency manipulator by United States and also accused China of using you to gain unfair competitive advantage in trade. Keys to remember, United States Treasury Department have dropped the China's designation as currency manipulator. It accuses China that China is using a yuan to gain unfair competitive advantage during the trades. Related Keys China President Xi Jinping China Capital Beijing Next news India and Bangladesh signed key agreement with the field of information and broadcasting at the Information and Broadcasting Ministers Meet 2020 in New Delhi. Bangladesh has decided to celebrate the Mujib year from March 17, 2020 to March 17, 2021 to mark the century of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the first president of Bangladesh. Keys to remember India and Bangladesh have signed the key agreement on information and broadcasting field. Related keys Bangladesh capital, Dhaka, Bangladesh Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. Next, let us see science and tech updates. Indian Space Research Organization would launch communication satellite GSAT-30 on board Ariane 5 launch vehicle from French Guiana on January 17th. The 3357 kg satellite is slated to blast off from Ariane launch complex at Kourou, a French territory located along the northeastern coast of South America. GSAT-30 is to serve as the replacement to INSAT-4A spacecraft services with enhanced coverage. Keys to remember, on January 17, 2020, ISRO would launch a communication satellite GSAT-30 on board from Ariane 5 launch vehicle. Related keys, ISRO founder Vikram Sarabhai ISRO founded on 15th August 1969. Next, let us see appointments. Four more co-founder and CEO of e-commerce chain Flipkart recently acquired DHFL General Insurance from the Kapil Vadavan led Vadavan group of companies from 100 crore. 
The deal is seen as a distress sale for Kapil Vadavan, led financial service group, which used to run the debit ladder DHFL. With this acquisition, Bansal has entered into the insurance business. Please to remember, the CEO of Flipkart have recently acquired DHFL general insurance from World One Group of Companies 400 crore. Related keys DHFL CEO Kapil Vadavan, DHFL Headquarters, India. Next, date 17th January 2020. Let us start with national news updates. On January 16, 2020, the Government of Assam, Government of India and World Bank signed 88 million USD agreement. The agreement aims to modernize Assam's ferry transport service on the Brahmaputra River. Case to remember, Assam Government, Government of India and World Bank have signed agreement to modernize the Assam's ferry transport service on Brahmaputra. Related keys Around 15 waterways are operating in Assam. The IBT India Bangladesh Protocol National Waterway 2 that was recently launched in November 2019. Next news People with disabilities and people over 8 years of the age can now cast their vote in New Delhi Assembly election through. Postal Ballot For the first time, Delhi Metro, Northern Railway employees and media persons covering the polling can also use Postal Ballot facility to cast their votes. Till now, voting through Postal Ballot was available to armed forces and those assigned in poll duties. Keys to remember For the Delhi Assembly election, Postal ballot is now available to people with disabilities and people over 80 years. This postal ballot can also be used by Delhi Metro, Northern Railway employees and media persons covering the polling. Next news. On January 17, 2020, the International Conclave on Globalizing Indian Thought was held in IIM Cori Code. PM Modi addressed the conclave. The conclave aimed at revealing India's thoughts in becoming one of the top three economies of the world. India is stepping towards a goal of becoming $5 trillion economy by 2025. Keys to remember, globalizing Indian thought, the international conclave will be held on January 17th in IIM Kori Code. This conclave will be addressed by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Related Keys IAM Kori Code Director Debashi's Chatterjee IAM Kori Code set up in 1996. Next, let us see international news updates. Sri Lankan President Kotabaya Rajabatshe has decided that the minimum daily wage of estate workers will be 1000 rupees with effect from 1st March. The decision came on eve of Thai Pongal as most of the estate workers are Tamilians of Indian origin. The workers have been demanding 1000 rupees wage since past few years and held several protests during the previous government. Keys to remember The Sri Lankan president have announced that the minimum daily wage of estate workers will be 1000 rupees which will come in effect from 1st of March. Related Keys Sri Lanka Capital Colombo Sri Jayavardini Pura Kote Sri Lanka Currency Sri Lankan Rupee Next News Recently, the Henley Passport Index was launched. The index was launched based on the data collected from International Air Transport Association. Japan has been holding the top rank position for the past three years. 
India was in rank 71 as the index was released in 2006. Keys to remember, Henley Passport Index have recently launched where Japan holds the top ranking position. India was ranked in 71st place. Related keys, UAE was the historic performer of Henley Passport Index 2020. The index is based on the number of destinations their holders can access without visa. Next, date 18th January 2020. Let us start with national news updates. The state of art new Tejas Express train between Ahmedabad and Mumbai Central has been flagged off by Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rupani at Ahmedabad Railway Station. On the inaugural run, the train number 09426, which left Ahmedabad at 9.30 am, reached Mumbai at 4 pm. Keys to remember, Gujarat CM Vijay Rupani have flagged off the new Tejas Express train between Ahmedabad and Mumbai. Related keys, Tejas Express is India's first semi-high-speed fully air-conditioned train introduced by Indian Railways. The inaugural run of Tejas Express was on 24th May 2017 from Mumbai Chhatrapati Sivaji Maharaj Terminus. Next news, Indian Railways South Central Railway SCR Zone has signed Momentum of Understanding with State Bank of India for doorstep banking. The signed Momentum of Understanding will help direct pickup of earnings covering all 585 railway stations over SCR zone. With the facility of direct pickup of cash from all the railway stations, it will save the tedious and complex activity of movement of cash earning through cash saves by train. Keys to remember, State Bank of India and Southern Central Railways have signed a momentum of understanding for doorstep banking. This will facilitate of direct pickup of cash from all the railway stations in South Central Railway. Related keys, the South Central Railway founded 2nd October 1966. The South Central Railway Headquarters Location, Sakendrabad. Next news, the first session of India-Norway Dialogue on Trade and Investment was convened in New Delhi on 15th to 16th January 2020. The session was based on the terms of reference signed between India and Norway on 8th January 2019 in New Delhi during the visit of Prime Minister of Norway. Keys to remember, during the visit of Norway Prime Minister, the first session of India-Norway Dialogue on Trade and Investment was convened in New Delhi. Related keys, Norway Capital, Oslo, Norway Currency, Norwegian Krona. Next, let us see international news updates. Brazil has inaugurated a new US $100 million Antarctic base built by Chinese company CEIEC to replace a research station destroyed by fire almost seven years ago. The new 48,375 square foot facility was bigger and safer with 17 laboratories, a heliport and other advances. Scientists will use the base to study microbiology, glaciers and climate among other areas. Keys to remember, Brazil have inaugurated a new 48,375 square foot facility Antarctic base built by Chinese company. This new research station was built to replace the research station which have destroyed by fire almost seven years ago. Related keys, Brazil capital, Brasilia. 
Brazil currency, Brazilian real. Next, let us see economy news updates. On January 17, 2020, one of the world's largest retailer, Amazon announced that it has planned to invest 1 billion USD in India and generate 1 million jobs. Globally, Amazon have increased its employee base four times. In order to involve small and medium businesses, a mega summit called SMBAV was organized by Amazon in capital on January 14, 2020. Keys to remember The world's largest retailer, Amazon, have announced it has planned to invest 1 billion USD in India to generate 1 million jobs. Related Keys Amazon founder Jeff Bezos Amazon founded on July 5, 1994 Next Date 19th January 2020 Let us begin with national news updates. Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rubani launched the 7th Economic Census Process in the state. The Economic Census Process organized by the Union Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation with the help of Common Service Centers. Around 40,000 enumerators will use mobile applications for the first time to gather information under the guidance of 6,500 supervisors. Keys to remember Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rubani launched the 7th Economic Census Process in the state. Related Keys In 1977, Central Statistical Organization conducted first economic census in collaboration with the Directorate of Economics and Statistics in the states or union territories. Next News Gujarat ranked the best for parameters on efficiency targets in the review of state and central government water departments by the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Rajasthan is the third best and Delhi is among the worst performing states. According to the ranking for 2019 circulated to different state governments recently. Keys to remember, Gujarat ranked the best for parameters on efficiency targets in the review of state and central government water departments by the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Related Keys Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rubani Gujarat Governor Acharya Devrath Next news. The 15th Finance Commission will visit the state Goa and hold meetings with the state government and other stakeholders on 23rd to 24th January 2020. Chairman will head the commission NK Singh and include all its members and senior officials. The commission had a meeting with the principal accountant, General of Goa who made a detailed presentation to the Commission on the state's finances. Keys to remember, the 15th Finance Commission will visit the state Goa and hold meetings with the state government and other stakeholders on 23rd to 24th January 2020. Related Keys Finance Commission formed 22nd November 1951 under Article 280 of the Indian Constitution. Finance Commission Headquarters, New Delhi. Next, let us see international news updates. The World Gold Council recently released its report, World Gold Outlook 2020. The report says that gold has performed the best since 2010 in 2019. In 2019, the gold trade in USD has increased by 18.4 percentage as compared to 2010. According to the WGC, RBI currently holds 625.2 tons of gold. This is 6.6 percentage of the country's foreign exchange. With this, India ranks 16th in the world among other central banks. Keys to remember. The World Gold Council recently released its report, 
World Gold Outlook 2020 Related Keys The WGC is a market development organization. The headquarters of WGC is located in London. The WGC office in India is located in Mumbai. Next, let us see banking and finance news updates. Global payments company Mastercard plan to invest nearly $1 billion in India over the next 5 years. The proposed investment will be made over 5 years in our India operations includes an R&D facility at Pune and another center at Vadodara. The facility is catered to the company's global operations, of which Vadodara provided the back-end multiple payment support. Keys to remember Global payments company Mastercard plan to invest nearly $1 billion in India over the next 5 years. Related Keys Mastercard founder 1979, 41 years ago Headquarters Mastercard International Global Headquarters Purchase New York, US Next Date 20th January 2020 Let us start with National News Updates on January 19, 2020, the group of ministers headed by Home Minister Amit Shah finalized its report to change the legal framework that will help prevent sexual harassment of women at workplaces. The group of ministers was constituted in October 2018 after the Me Too campaign. The group was reconstituted under the Home Minister in July 2019. Keys to remember To prevent the sexual harassment of women at workplaces, Home Minister have added the group of ministers meeting to report about the change of legal framework. Related Keys Vishaka Guidelines issued by Supreme Court in 1997 It is to be noted that Sexual Harassment of Women and Workplaces 2013 was constituted based on Vishaka guidelines. According to the National Crime Record Bureau, in 2017 and 18, the number of sexual harassment of women at work premises were 479 and 401. Next news. Commerce Minister Piyush Koyal will lead the Indian delegation to the 50th World Forum at Davos from January 20 to 24. 53rd Head of State or Government from 117 countries are participating in the event. The theme of this year WEF is Stockholders for the Cohesive and Sustainable World. Keys to remember the 50th World Economic Forum will be led by Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal from January 20 to 24. Related Keys World Economic Forum founded January 1971. World Economic Forum Headquarters, Switzerland. Next news. The National Mission of Clean Ganga has taken up the initiative under Namami Gange project to conserve wetlands of Ganga Basin. The primary aim of Namami Gange project is to rejuvenate the river by increasing its flow. It also includes recharging aquifers and conservation of wetlands. Keys to remember To conserve the wetlands in Ganges Basin, the National Mission of Clean Gange have took initiative under Namami Gange project. Related Keys Ramsar Convention is an intergovernmental treaty that was established in 1971 by UNESCO. There are 27 Ramsar sites in India. Next, let us see international news updates. On January 19, 2020, Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met Sri Lankan President Kotabaya Rajabakshe. He discussed setting up of Maritime Research Coordination Center in the country. 
The establishment of research center is important to learn maritime activities in the Indian Ocean region. Keys to remember Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met Sri Lankan President to discuss about setting up of Maritime Research Coordination Center in the country. Related Keys In spite of two maritime agreements, they were signed in 1974 and 1976. Next, let us see sports news updates. A dominant Vinesh Pogat won her first gold medal in the 2020 season at Rome Ranking Series event for Team Sensation Anshu Malik settled for the silver in 57kg competition in Rome. Vinesh downed two tough Chinese rivals on her way to 53kg gold medal. Keys to remember in 2020 season, at Rome Ranking Series event, Indian player Vinesh Pogat have won her first gold medal. Next, date 21st January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. On January 20, 2020, the APEDA Agriculture and Processed Food Product Development Authority have added 135 laboratories to the existing 51 laboratories. With this initiative, the total number of agricultural product testing laboratories in the country has been increased to 186. Keys to remember To increase the initiative of total number of agricultural product testing laboratories, APEDA have added 135 laboratories. The total number of laboratories for food testing have been increased from 51 to 186. Related Keys Agricultural sector today employs more than 60% of the population. India is one of the highest ranking countries in terms of rice, dairy, cotton, fruits, meat, vegetables and seafood. Next News Aam Aadmi Party National Convener and Chief Minister of Delhi Arvind Kejriwal launched Party's Guarantee Card ahead of upcoming assembly election in the national capital. This card lists 10 promises that Aam Aadmi Party will deliver if it is elected to rule Delhi again. It includes free bus services, electricity, water supply, pollution, etc. Keys to remember, Arvind Gejriwal, Chief Minister of Delhi, had launched Guarantee Card for the upcoming election. This card holds a list of 10 promises that Aam Atme Party will deliver if it is elected to rule Delhi again. Related Keys Delhi is the second highest populated city in India after Mumbai. Delhi Literacy Rate 86.21% Next, let us see international news updates. Myanmar and China signed 33 bilateral deals including agreements, MOUs, exchange letters and protocols on concluding day of the two-day visit by Chinese President Xi Jinping to Myanmar. A large number of these deals relate to the implementation of China-Myanmar Economic Corridor under the Belt and Road Initiative launched by China. The two countries signed a concession agreement and shareholders agreement for the Kyak View Special Economic Zone Deep Seaport Project. Keys to remember, Chinese President Xi Pingqing have signed 33 bilateral deals including agreements, MOUs, exchange letters and protocols on his two-day visit to Myanmar. Related Keys Myanmar President Win Myint Myanmar Currency Burmese Kyat Next, let us see science and tech updates. India has successfully test-fired 3,500-kilometer range nuclear-capable missile that can be launched from a submarine. The test of the K-4 ballistic missile was concluded off the Vaisa coast in Andhra Pradesh on 
January 19. With this test, India has moved one more step towards the induction of this ballistic missile on the INS Harrigan class of nuclear submarines. The missile was developed by Defense Research and Development Organization. Keys to remember, India have successfully test-fired 3,500 km range nuclear missile. This missile was developed by Defense Research and Development Organization. India moved a step forward towards the induction of this ballistic missile on INS Harihan through this successful test fire. Related keys DRDO founded on 1958. DRDO is under the administrative control of Ministry of Defense, Government of India. Next, let us see sports news updates. In wrestling, India have returned with 7 medals from Rome Ranking Series. Bajrang Punya and Ravi Kumar Dahiya climbed gold medals in the tournament. The 25 years old Bajrang staged a comeback to secure 4 for 3 win against USA Jordan Michael Oliver in the 65 kg freestyle category. Keys to remember In the Rome Ranking Series, India have won 7 medals, which includes 2 gold medals. Next, date 22nd January 2020. Let us begin with National News Update. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Nepal counterpart K.P. Sharma Oli inaugurated Integrated Check Post ICP Bratnagar. ICP Bratnagar has been built on 260 acres of land at the cost of around 140 crore rupees. It has facilities for immigration clearance of foreign passengers, export and import cargo handling. It is designed to handle around 500 trucks per day. Case to remember, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Nepal counterpart have inaugurated ICP Bratnagar. This ICP is built around 260 acres. It has facilities for immigration, clearance of foreign passengers, export and import. Related keys Nepal Capital, Kathmandu, Nepal Currency, Nepalese Rupee. Next news, the Indian Air Force has inducted its first squadron of Sukhoi-30 MKI aircraft carrying the BrahMos missile in the south of East Tanjavur base in Tamil Nadu. The Chief of Defence Staff General Bibin Rawat and the Chief of Air Staff Air Chief Marshal Rakesh Kumar Baudaria inducted the squadron at an impressive ceremony. Keys to remember the Chief of Defence Staff General and Air Chief Marshal have inducted its first squadron of Sukhoi 30 MKI aircraft carrying the BrahMos missile at Tanjavur. Related Keys Indian Air Force founded 8th October 1932 Indian Air Force Headquarters, New Delhi Next News The Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade operating under Ministry of Commerce and Industry to showcase Tableau of Startup India at the Republic Day Parade to be held at Rajpath, New Delhi. The Tableau is to be held under the theme Reach for the Sky. Keys to remember DPIIT along with Ministry of Commerce and Industry will showcase Tableau on Startup India at Republic Day Parade. Related keys. The tableau will showcase the stages of life cycle of a startup. Next news. The Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly passed a bill proposing three capitals, legislative, executive and judicial for the state. The assembly passed the AP Decentralization and Inclusive Development of All Region Bill this regard. Vishagapatinam is proposed to be the executive capital Amravati Legislative Capital and Kornal will be Judical Capital. Case to remember, Andhra Pradesh have proposed three capital for its state. According to this, Vishakapatinam is proposed to be Executive Capital, 
Amravati is legislative capital and Kurnool will be judicial capital. Related case Andhra Pradesh literacy rate 67.41% Andhra Pradesh Governor Viswabhushan Harishandan Next, let us see appointments. BJP leader Jagat Prakash Nada was elected unopposed as the national president of ruling Bharati Janata Party in New Delhi. He will now be the BJP's president for three years till 2022. The announcement was made by senior BJP leader Radha Mohan Singh. Keys to remember BJP leader Jagat Prakash Nada was elected unopposed president of Bharatiya Janata Party. He will be in this post till 2022. Next date 23rd January 2020. Let us start with national news updates. President of Brazil Jair Messias Bolsonaro will arrive in New Delhi on four-day state visit to India. President Bolsonaro will be the chief guest at 71st Republic Day Parade at Rajpath in the national capital on January 26th. He will be accompanied by a delegation consisting of seven ministers, chairman of Brazil, India Friendship Group in Brazilian Parliament. Case to remember President of Brazil will arrive to India on 71st Republic Day Parade on January 26th. Related keys Brazilian capital, Brasilia, Brazilian official language, Portuguese. Next, let us see banking news updates. The Reserve Bank of India said that it has cancelled the certification of authorization of Orofone Yampisa on an account of voluntary surrender of authorization. Following the cancellation of COA, the company cannot transact the business of insurance and operation of prepaid payment instruments. Keys to remember, RBI have cancelled the certification authority of Vodafone Empisa. Due to this cancellation, the company cannot transact the business of insurance and any operation. Related Keys Reserve Bank of India Headquarters, Mumbai Reserve Bank of India founded 1st April 1935 Next, let us see science and tech updates. France will train Indian flight surgeons to enable them to monitor the health of astronauts selected for the ambitious human space mission Gaganyaan. The two-week training is a critical aspect of Gaganyaan project that is aimed at sending three Indian to space by 2022. The flight surgeons who will be Indian Air Force doctors specializing in aviation medicines and responsible for the health of astronauts before, during and after flight will be shortlisted soon. Keys to remember France is training Indian flight surgeons who will be taking care of astronauts' health in the ambitious project Human Space Mission Gaganyaan. Related keys Gaganyaan Grood Vehicle is planned to be launched on ISRO's GSLV MK3 in December 2021. Gaganyaan Manufacturer HAL and ISRO. Next, let us see sports news updates. Qatar and FIFA published the first jointly issued Legacy Planning the Strategy ahead of Football World Cup in 2022. FIFA and Qatari Supreme Committee organizers said in a statement in Doha that it contains pledges on labor and LGBT rights alongside protections for activists and journalists. A total of 22 objectives have been described in detail. Keys to remember In a statement at Doha, Qatar and FIFA have jointly published the legacy planning strategy ahead for Football World Cup in 2022. Related keys Qatar Capital, Doha Qatar Currency, Qatari Real Next news Indian shooters Divyansh Singh Power and Apurvi Chandela have clutched a gold medal each in Meitan Cup in Innsbruck, Austria. 
The Maitan Cup is a private tournament where shooters go on their own to participate to gain experience before international events. While Divyansh won the gold in the men's 10m air rifle event with an effort of 249.7. Apoorvi backed the yellow medal in the 10m air rifle women's category with a 251.4. Case to remember. Our Indian shooters Divyansh and Apoorvi Chandela have clutched gold medal in Maiten Cup, which is a private tournament held in Innsbruck, Austria. Next, date 24th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. The cabinet gave approval to the Election Commission of India to enter into the Memorandum of Understanding with Independent High Authority for Elections of Tunisia and Papua New Guinea Election Commission. The Memorandum of Understanding has been signed for election for cooperation in the field of electoral management and administration. Keys to remember. Election Commission of India have got approval to enter into the Memorandum of Understanding with Independent High Authority for Election of Tunisia and Papua New Guinea Election Commission. Related case: Election Commission of India formed 25th January 1950. Election Commission of India headquarters, New Delhi. Next news: External Affairs Minister S. Yes, Jai Shankar and President of Niger Mahamadou Issoufou on 21st January jointly inaugurated the first convention center established in Africa by India to honor the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. The external affairs minister said in a statement that the establishment of Mahatma Gandhi International Convention Center is a landmark for India-Niger friendship as also a symbol of India's frame commitment towards africa he is to remember to honor mahatma gandhi external affairs minister and president of niger have established first convention center in africa next news ministry of environment forest and climate change recently announced that india has achieved the complete phase out of ozone depleting hydrochlorofluorocarbon the achievement has its root to the montreal protocol keys to remember india has achieved the complete phase out of ozone depleting hydrochlorofluorocarbon reported by ministry of environment forest and climate change related keys ministry of environment forest climate change formed 1985 Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Headquarters, New Delhi. Next news: On January 22, 2020, the Defence Acquisition Council approved the procurement of defence equipment that are of worth rupees 5,100 crores. The equipment are to be purchased from indigenous sources. The equipment to be purchased include electronic warfare system that are manufactured by DRTO. Keys to remember: For the procurement of defence equipment, rupees five thousand hundred crores were approved by Defence Acquisition Council. Related keys: Ministry of Defence formed seventeen seventy six. Ministry of Defence Headquarters New Delhi Next let us see awards President Ramnath Govind presented the Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Purushkar 2020 at Rashtrapati Bhavan The Bal Purushkar is given by the government every year to recognize exceptional achievements of children in various fields These fields are innovation scholastic achievements social service art and culture sports and bravery keys to remember pradhan mantri rashtriya bal purushkar 2020 award was issued by president ramnath govind at rashtrapati bhavan related keys the bal shakti puraskar is given to the children in the fields of innovation social service scholastics sports art and culture and bravery 
The award carries a medal, a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh, a certification and citation. Next, date 25th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. On January 23, 2020, Nidhi Ayok announced that it will launch national data and analytics platform. The platform aims to democratize access of government data. In other words, the platform aims to make the data across all the sector coherent. The NDAP will act as a platform for different stockholders to access data in an easy way. It will host latest data from all government websites. Keys to remember to democratize access of government data, Niti Aayog is to launch national data and analytics platform. Related keys Niti Aayog formed 1st January 2015. Niti Aayog Headquarters, New Delhi. Next news Changing a decade old tradition, the 71st Republic Day ceremony will not begin from India Gate, where the Prime Minister commemorates soldiers who have died in combat for India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lay a bridge at National War Memorial, which was opened on February 25, 2019. Keys to remember, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that 71st Republic Day ceremony will begin from National War Memorial. Related Keys National War Memorial opened 25th February 2019 National War Memorial Location India Gate Circle, New Delhi Next News The Reserve Bank of India raised investment limit for FPIs in government and corporate bonds. In two separate notifications, the central bank said foreign portfolio investors can now invest 30% for their portfolio in central and state government securities, including in treasury bills from the 20% earlier. Similarly, in corporate bonds too, short-term investment can now be 30% of portfolio from 20% earlier. Keys to remember, Reserve Bank of India raised investment limit for FPI, foreign portfolio investors, can now invest 30% of their portfolio. Related keys Reserve Bank of India Headquarters, Mumbai Reserve Bank of India Founder, British Raj Next, let us see international news updates. India supplied 30,000 doses of measles and rubella vaccines to the Maldives responding swiftly to an emergency request to contain the measles outbreak in Maldives. The vaccine supply was quickly procured and delivered to Maldives Health Ministry within 72 hours of the request. Keys to remember, India supplied 30,000 doses of measles and rupilla vaccines to the Maldives. Related keys, Maldives currency, Maldivian rufia, Maldives president, Ibrahim Mohammed Soli. Next, let us see appointments. The Greek Parliament has elected Katrina Sakilaro Paulu as its first female president in the history. She is a senior judge with an expertise in environmental and constitutional law. 261 MPs out of 300 voted for 63 years old Katrina to become the ceremonial head of the country. Keys to remember. Katrina Solapro Paolo becomes the first female president of Greek parliament. Next, let us see important dates. In order to encourage more young voters to take part in the political process, Government of India has decided to celebrate January 25th every year as National Voters Day. The theme of National Voters Day is Electoral Literacy for Stronger Democracy. Keys to remember, January 25th is observed as National Voters Day every year. This year theme, Electoral Literacy for Stronger Democracy. Next, date 26th January 2020. Let us begin with international news updates. 
India and Bangladesh sign an agreement to upgrade Ashokanj Agahura Road into a four lane highway on 24th January. The agreement aims to upgrade the 50.58 km long road between Ashokanj River Port and the Agahura Land Port in Bangladesh into a four lane highway. Keys to remember India and Bangladesh sign an agreement to upgrade Ashokanj Agahura Road into a four lane highway on 24th January. Related keys Under the agreement, the Roads and Highways Department of Bangladesh and an Indian company Afcons Infrastructure Limited will upgrade the 39 km long road between the Ashukanj River Port to the Dargar area. The project is part of the $2 billion second line of credit extended by India to Bangladesh in 2016. Next, let us see banking and finance news updates. On January 24th, 2020, based on the feedback received from the Voluntary Redemption Route Scheme, introduced by the Reserve Bank of India in 2009, the Central Bank, in consultation with the government, made certain amendments in the scheme to increase its operational flexibility. As per the amendments, the investment limit under VRR has now been increased to 1.5 lakh crores rupees from earlier 75,000 crores rupees. Keys to remember on January 24, 2020, based on the feedback received from the Voluntary Redemption Route Scheme introduced by the Reserve Bank of India in 2009. Related keys For fresh allotment, the investment limit will be 19,639 crores rupees and will be allotted under VRR campaign category. The limits of investment will also be available on tab and allotted on first come first serve basis. Until the limits are fully allotted, the tab will remain open. Next, let us see awards. Sneha Bamneja, a well-known graphic designer based in New Delhi, was awarded Oxford Bookstore Book Cover Prize 2020 a first of its kind award for brilliance in book design. A Jaipur bookmark of ongoing 13th edition of the C. Jaipur Literature Festival at Tigi Palace Hotel in Jaipur, Rajasthan. She was honored for designing the cover of the book Defend Authentic Recipes Celebrating India's Regional Cuisine. Keys to remember Sneha Bamneja, a well-known graphic designer based in New Delhi, was awarded Oxford Bookstore Book Cover Prize 2020. Related Keys Bamneja was awarded a trophy and a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees for designing an attractive cover. The award was presented to her by the jury comprising jurors. Dr. Shashi Taru, Namita Kokale, and Shofa D. Next, let us see appointments. Portuguese diplomat Jova Vale de Almeida was appointed as the head of future EU diplomatic mission to the UK after Brexit on 24th January. The UK's exit was scheduled for 31st January 2020. He has experience as the European Union's U.S. Ambassador in 2010-2014. Keys to remember, Portuguese diplomat Jova Veldi Almeida was appointed as the head of future EU diplomatic mission to the UK after Brexit on 24th January. Related keys Jova Veldi Almeida is an experienced EU diplomat.
prior to his appointment to london he was the eu ambassador to the united nations next let us see important days international customs day is observed on 26 january the day recognizes the role of customs officials and agencies in maintaining border security the day marks the anniversary of the formation of the customs cooperation council keys to remember international customs day is observed on 26 january related keys the day was instituted by the world customs organization in 1953 during the session of the customs cooperation council which was held in brussels belgium on this day the customs agencies hold employee appreciation events the agencies recognize the custom officers for their ex employee service next day 27 january 2020 Let us begin with national news updates. On January 26, 2020, Bharat Bhav 2020 began at Red Fort in New Delhi. The program is to continue till 1st February 2020. The objective of the program is to increase patriotism among the citizens and also to encourage them visit tourist places in the country. The program is being organized by Ministry of Tourism. Keys to remember: On January 26, 2020, Bharat Bhav 2020 began at Red Fort in New Delhi. The program is to continue till 1st February 2020. Related keys: Bharat Bhav is recognized as national festival. Bharat Bhav is being celebrated since 2016. Theme, celebrating 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi and E. K. Bharat, Shrestha Bharat. Next news. On January 26, 2020, Government of India announced 141 Batma Awards on the occasion of 71st Republic Day celebrations. Former Union Ministers George Fernandes, Arun Jaitley and Sushma Swaraj are to be awarded with Batma Vibhushan posthumously the former CM of Goa Manohar Parrikar is to be conferred with the award posthumously he is to remember on January 26 2020 government of india announced 141 batma awards on the occasion of 71st republic day celebrations related keys former pm of marathias Anirudh Jagannath boxer MC Mariko Hindustani classical vocalist Janulal Mishra are also to be awarded with the prestigious award Next news at the 71st celebrations of Republic Day Maharashtra government launched the Shiv Bhojan scheme this scheme will offer meals at 10 rupees to the poor this scheme aims at providing affordable quality food to all the state government has estimated that the scheme would cost 6.4 crores keys to remember at the 71st celebrations of republic day maharashtra government launched the shiv bhojan scheme related keys the centers of the scheme are to open at places where the below poverty line citizens live also it is to be opened in areas like district hospitals markets railway stations initially the government has planned to set up 50 such centers next let us see international news updates the president of brazil mr jair bolsonaro visited india to take part in republic day celebrations during his visit the country signed several agreements the country signed agreements on trade cyber security information technology the countries have set target to increase bilateral trade to 15 billion usd by 2022 keys to remember the president of brazil 
Mr. J. Palsanero visited India to take part in Republic Day celebrations. Created Keys Alongside, the fifth session of India-Brazil trade monitoring mechanism was also held. President Palsanero was accompanied by a huge business delegation. Next, let us see science and tech updates. The Defense Research Development Organization displayed the ASAT weapon system. ASAT is the anti-satellite weapon system. India is one of the few countries in the world to own the technology. The other countries include US, China and Russia. Keys to remember The Defense Research Development Organization displayed the ASAT weapon system. Related Keys DRDO launched Mission Shakti, the first ASAT mission. The mission demonstrated anti-satellite technology. The mission destroyed a live orbiting satellite at the low Earth orbit. Next, let us see awards. Former Chintala Venkat Reddy won the Bhatmashri Award from Telangana. He was awarded for attaining an international patent for his technique in soil swapping and soil fertility. He is the first independent farmer in India to win the international patent for the technique. Keys to remember Former Chintala Venkat Reddy won the Patmashri Award from Telangana. Related Keys Chintala Venkat Reddy used the old method of rejuvenating the top soil to obtain double crop production instead of using fertilizers. He has a great farm at Gundanpalli in Kizara. He grows black grapes, rice, wheat and vegetables. Next, date 28th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. The country's first Superfab Lab was launched at the Integrated Startup Complex of Kerala Startup Mission. The lab will give a major push to the hardware industry in the country and the only such facilities outside US. The Superfab Lab will function in collaboration with MIT. Keys to remember Kerala Startup Mission has launched India's first Superfab Lab which would give major push-up to the hardware industry in the country. Related Keys Kerala Governor Arif Mohammad Khan, Kerala Capital, Thiruvananthapuram. Next news, the Union Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has launched an online portal, Kati. The new portal created by NHEI on the lines of Prakati portal used by PMO can be accessed from NHEI website and contractor Concessioners can raise any project-related issue on it. Issue raised on Gutti portal will be monitored daily by a team of officers in NHAI. Case to remember, NHAI have created and launched online portal Gutti on the lines of Prakati portal. It will be monitored daily by the team of officers in NHAI. Related keys. NHAI founded 1983. NHAI sector Indian National Highway System. Next, let us see international news updates. The smallest gold coin in the world, featuring legendary scientist Albert Einstein, has been recently minted by Switzerland. The gold coin is about 0.12 inches of diameter, has been made by state owned Swiss Mint and features the scientist sticking out his tongue. The size of the coin weighting 1 by 500th of an ounce is so small that it comes along with magnifying glass for observing Einstein's cheeky image. Case to remember, Switzerland have issued the smallest gold coin in the world featuring the legendary scientist Albert Einstein sticking out his tongue. Related keys Switzerland currency, Swiss France. Switzerland is a federal republic composed of 26 cantons. 
Next news, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson introduced a new fast-track visa to attract more of the world's best scientists to the UK in hopes of creating global science superpower. Johnson paired the announcement of the Global Talent Route Programme with a pledge of £300 million for research into advanced mathematics. Please to remember, British Prime Minister have introduced a new fast-track visa to attract more world's best scientists to UK. Related Keys Britain is facing its biggest immigration shakeup in decades after it leaves the EU. Next news, the 10th edition of Oxford Dictionary, which was launched on 24th January, has 384 Indian English words and incorporates over 1000 new words such as chatbot, fake news and microplastic. The dictionary focus on the language change and its evolution through the years and has ensured that the language and examples used in new edition are relevant and up to date. Keys to remember 10th edition of Oxford Dictionary have recently released which consists of 384 Indian English words. Related keys Oxford Dictionary originally published on 1st February 1884. Oxford Dictionary Publishers, Oxford University Press. Next, date 29th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. The Mahatma Gandhi Rural Employment Guarantee Employment Act scheme released its financial statement recently. According to the statement, almost 96% of the money has already been spent. Only 2,500 crores of money is left to sustain the scheme for the next two months. According to the financial statement of the scheme, 15 states are in red meaning there is a fund depression or fund unavailability. Keys to remember, MGNREGA financial statement recently reported that it has already spent almost 96% of the money on the scheme. The money which is left will help the scheme only for two months. Related Keys MGNREGA Launch Year 2006 MGNREGA Ministry, Ministry of Rural Development Next News Seeking Push Make in India in Defence Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to inaugurate Dev Expo 2020, which will be held in Lucknow from February 5th to 9th. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will hold a curtain raiser meeting on the eve of the exhibition. The event is also being seen as a major push by the government towards building a strong military infrastructure in Uttar Pradesh. Keys to remember. To build a strong infrastructure in military in Uttar Pradesh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to inaugurate Def Expo 2020 plant to be held in Lucknow from February 5th to 9th. Related keys Ministry of Defence founded 15th August 1947 Ministry of Defence Headquarters, New Delhi Next news On January 28, 2020, the Union Ministry declared that Ramsar Convention had added 10 more sites from India. Today, there are 37 Ramsar sites in the country. Among the 10 sites, Maharashtra get its first Ramsar sites. The other wetland sites include 1 in Uttar Pradesh and 3 in Punjab. Keys to remember Ramsar Convention have added 10 more sites from India. Now, the total number of Ramsar sites in the country is 37. Related keys The Ramsar Convention on Wetlands of International Importance especially as Waterfowl Habitat is an international treaty for the conservation and sustainable use of wetlands. Next news The government signed an accord with the National Democratic Friend of Borderland one of the dreaded insurgent group of Assam. 
The pact described as historic by Prime Minister Narendra Modi provides for setting up of the commission to reconstitute the Bodo territorial areas district by including new Bodo dominated villages. Case to remember, government signed an accord with the National Democratic Front of Bodoland for setting up of a commission to reconstitute the Bodo territorial area districts. Next, let us see appointments. Sunil Mehta took over as a chief executive officer of the Indian Banks Association. He succeeds V.G. Kannan who stepped down on the December 31st, 2019. Sunil Mehta was heading Punjab National Bank as an MD and CEO. While serving PNB, Mehta was also appointed as a chairman of IBA in 2018-19. Case to remember, Sunil Mehta took over as the CEO of Indian Banks Association. He succeeds VJ Kannan who stepped down from the post on December 31, 2019. Related keys Indian Banks Association founded 26 September 1946. Indian Banks Association Headquarters, Mumbai. Next, date 30th January 2020. Let us begin with national news updates. Oxford University Press named Samvidan Constitution the Oxford Hindi word of 2019. OUP said that it received widespread attention in the year, which was a witness to the spirit of Indian constitution being embraced across segments of the society. The Oxford Hindi word of the year is a word or expression that has attracted a great deal of attention of the year. Please to remember, the word Samvidan constitution is chosen as the Oxford Hindi word of 2019 which is chosen for widespread attention in the year. Related case, Oxford University Press Headquarters, Oxford United Kingdom. Oxford University Press founded 1586. Next news, the World Sustainable Summit is an annual event organized by the Energy and Resource Institute. It is to be held between January 29, 2020 and January 31, 2020 at New Delhi. The theme of the event is Towards 2030 Making a Decade Count. Keys to remember The Energy and Resource Institute have organized the World Sustainable Summit from January 29, 2022 January 31, 2020 at New Delhi with a theme Towards 2030 Making the Decade Count. Related keys. It is being organized since 2001. The concept of sustainable development has its root in sustainable forest management during 17th and 18th century. Next news. The recently inducted Indian Coast Guard ship Annie Bazet has reached its base harbor at Chennai. It was received with pomp and splendor by the staff and their family members of the Coast Guard Chennai office. The ship Annie Bezit is the third fast patrol vessel of Priyadashni class. Keys to remember Indian Coast Guard ship Annie Bezit has reached Chennai port with pomp and splendor by the staff of the Coast Guard Chennai office. Related keys Chennai port opened on 1881. Chennai port is the second largest container port of India. Next news. According to the United National Development Program, Telangana has emerged the best performing state in terms of achieving sustainable development goals. It is to be noted that in December 2019, India released SDG India Index. India was the first country to release SDG Index. The index was launched by Niti Ayok. Keys to remember Telangana has emerged the best performing state according to the United National Development Program in terms of achieving sustainable development goals. Related keys 
United National Development Program founded 22nd November 1965 United States United National Development Program headquarters New York New York United States Next let us see appointments Qatar appointed a new prime minister replacing Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasir bin Khalifa Al Thani Quoting an Emory order the state news agency reported that Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdul Aziz Al Thani has been named as the new prime minister Keys to remember Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdul Aziz Al Thani has been named as the new prime minister of Qatar Related keys Qatar capital Doha Qatar currency Qatari real Next date 31st January 2020 Let us start with national news updates The Indian Railways is to implement plans for RFID radio frequency identification The railways is to tag around 350000 rolling stocks by 2021 under the program around 3500 coaches have been fitted with RFID so far This will help Indian railways in early identification of rolling stocks Keys to remember Radio frequency identification plan is to be implemented in Indian railways to help the Indian railways in early identification of rolling stocks Related keys Indian Railways founded 16th April 1853 Indian Railways headquarters New Delhi Next news A joint military exercise between India and Bangladesh is to be held at Umroi Meghalaya between 3rd February 2020 and 16th February 2020 This exercise is called Sampradhi During the exercise command post exercise and field training exercise is to be conducted according to the United Nations charters Keys to remember Sampradhi a joint military exercise between India and Bangladesh is to be held between 3rd February 2020 and 16th February 2020 at Umroi Meghalaya Related keys Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina Bangladesh currency Bangladeshi taka Next news To mark the 75th anniversary of formation of Sri Ramchandra Mission and Heartfulness Institute and with the meditation center slated to be the world's largest the center that can accommodate 1 lakh meditation people at a time Build on 30 acres the meditation center with a central hall and eight peripheral halls to accommodate 1 lakh people will offer meditation training free keys to remember sri ramchandra mission and heartfulness institute have opened the world's largest meditation center to mark the 75th anniversary next news union cabinet has approved the medical termination of pregnancy amendment bill 2020 The bill will amend the medical termination of pregnancy act 1971. The limit of termination of pregnancy has been increased from 20 weeks to 24 weeks. For medical termination of pregnancy, permission will be needed from two doctors and one of them must be a government doctor. Keys to remember: Medical termination of pregnancy amendment bill 2020 has approved In which the limit of termination of pregnancy has been increased from 20 weeks to 24 weeks. Next, let us see international news updates. On January 30, 2020, the Indian Commission for Cooperation with UNESCO was chaired by the Union Human Resource Development Minister Sri Ramesh Pokhrel. Along with UNESCO Commission, the event was also attended by the sub-commissions namely social science culture education natural science and culture keys to remember union human resource development minister chaired indian commission for cooperation with unesco related keys unesco founded on 16th november 
UNESCO headquarters, Paris, France. Next, let us see sports news updates. Indian javelin thrower Nura Chopra has qualified for the Tokyo Olympics with a throw of 87.86 meters at the Athletic Central Northeast meeting in South Africa. The 22 years old Asian breached the Olympic qualification mark of 85 meters in his fourth attempt at Port Chef Strom. Niraj had missed the IAAF World Championship, the Diamond League and Asian Championships due to an elbow injury. Keys to remember, 22 years old Indian javelin thrower Niraj Chopra had qualified for the Tokyo Olympics in his fourth attempt at Port Chef Strom. Related Keys Tokyo was selected as the host city for Olympics 2020 during the 125th IOC session in Bruno's Arises, Argentina on 7th September 2013. Tokyo Olympic Dates 24th July 2022, 9th August 2020. To have a daily current affairs updates, subscribe to Vision Academy and don't forget to press the bell button below. And if you think the video is informative, like this video, share this video, comment below for the doubts.